Greetings, greetings and welcome to the Soul Fire Sanctuary. My name is the Empress, the founder and creator of the Soul Fire Sanctuary, a space where women in their 40s are invited to embrace their 40s as a rite of passage. This is a space of healing, it's a space of becoming, it's a space of unfolding to greater and greater heights of success. It's a space where you ignite your feminine fire for soulful success. The Soul Fire Sanctuary is created for successful women who are coming into their 40s, who are in their 40s already, and those who are exiting, to really come to a deeper place of knowing, a deeper place of honing their feminine fire. Why would they do this? This is an invitation to live in your full authentic power to cultivate what I call fecundity, that is the capacity, the energy and the fire really, <clears throat> excuse me, to create and that is what is available to all of us and we are particularly focusing on the divine feminine, your feminine fire. We all have it as men and women but in the soul fire sanctuary we are particularly focusing on women. In this series of three videos. I call them offerings. Uh, everything in the Soul Fire Sanctuary is considered a gifting. Yourself, all the human beings that find themselves here, gathered the amazing successful women that we have gathered in the Soul Fire Sanctuary, and everything that we create is recognized and accepted, received and honored as a gifting, as an offering. So in this three-part series of offerings, let's call it that, um, I will share with you insights gleaned from my initiation as a healer, as a passion sensate and as a feminine fire coach over 10-15 years of practice where I have linked ancient teachings of African matriarchs to contemporary global experiences and wrap them up in an offering to you, that global contemporary woman who is firmly rooted in principles and values but actually very globally oriented and that means the world is her oyster. These are offerings to you. The sanctuary space is a space which is an internal space, it's portable, it moves with you. Only you truly have access to it. Nobody else will be able to touch, feel, experience your sanctuary space in the same way that you are able to. So in this offering, I'm going to focus on the inner sanctuary space. Sanctuary spaces are composed of the inner space, the outer spaces that you create, and also how you blend those together to make it a living, vital, life-enhancing experience as a daily practice, as a ritual. So in this first offering, let's go to the inner sanctuary. There are three aspects to the inner sanctuary. One is that of fecundity. Fecundity is a word you're going to hear in the Soul Fire Sanctuary very often, as often as I open my mouth, at least once a day. That is a word that comes to me. It's something that moves around in my blood. It's like oxygen, it gives me life. And it's something that I offer to you to consider. Fecundity is the capacity to create. It's the capacity to make something. Women have that innate capacity to create, to bring forth life, to bring forth new things. Here we work with fecundity as an invitation for you to create and design all that you desire. Of course, it's not as simple as saying, oh, let me design all that I desire. Through programs that we offer in the Soul Fire Sanctuary, which are led by myself and will soon also you know, be shared with others that I will bring in to broaden and deepen the offering to make it even more nourishing than it already is. These are spaces where you can, in the Soul Fire Sanctuary, develop rituals. Rituals which we call daily practices, essentially. They're very small daily practices when, which put, when you put them together, which when you put them together, combine to create a ritual, a ritual that is strengthening, a ritual that enables you to really hone fecundity and your feminine fire. And in being able to do that, you are able then to live 
a soulfully successful life, a life of purpose, a life of legacy, a life dedicated to service, which takes care of you and those that you love, those that you wish to serve. For in serving others, we believe it's absolutely imperative that we are able to serve ourselves to our fullest glory, first and foremost, in the most selfless way and in the most honouring way that is possible. So, insight one, fecundity. Second is the art of the sanctuary. The art of sanctuary, living in sanctuary, being able to walk around with your sanctuary, being able to touch and feel and hone into your sanctuary at any given time. It could be a stressful moment. It could be a moment of great joy where you just take that emotional picture and you say, ah, this is what I want to remember. This is what the soul fire sanctuary is about. This is when I am touching, feeling fecundity. There are all kinds of dimensions, spaces, emotions that go with the art of sanctuary. And it's an ongoing thing. Here's the delicious insight into the sanctuary. It will never, never end. As long as you draw breath, your sanctuary can grow, can become deeper, can become more enriching, can become more fertile, can become more potent. And it really depends on how often you take the time to go into your sanctuary and nurture it. You nurture it through meditation, through breath work, through mindfulness, through being still, through breath. And you will see that in the Soul Fire Sanctuary, breath is something that we will work with a lot and I'll be offering lots of guided practices in breath and how you can use breath in all of your daily lives. <clears throat> Excuse me. So with that, we also have the third part, which is to honour, to honour yourself. In creating your inner space for the sanctuary, honour is an absolutely important pillar that actually holds up this space enables you to embrace all that the Soul Fire Sanctuary can offer you and all that you are creating in your own personal, individual sanctuary. The word from the matriarchs, those who taught me so many of the principles of what I share with you in the Soul Fire Sanctuary, is that they invite us to remember that as women, we are unique. We are all gifted with so many different aspects of intent, inspiration, of interest, of family units, of desires, of wanting to be our best selves in the world and to be soulfully successful. In this, the matriarchs are guiding us to remember our individuality and to recognize that this is something that will take us higher than the highest heights we've ever dreamt of. So it's probably not the first time you've heard about being an individual and sparking your own individual fire. But I invite you now to blend that notion, that idea with your purpose, with your gifts, with your passion. How does that look when you blend them all together? How does that feel? And this can be work that you can do meditatively. You can journal every single day. Just hone it craft it and you will see that as you begin to do that more often you will actually begin living it it's a beautiful magical and alchemic process it literally shifts and transforms everything within you and as you do that you will see everything external to you beginning to shift as well so this is the power and the potential of your inner sanctuary in the next offering we'll look at the outer sanctuary and in the third offering we'll look at the rituals that we can create to nurture nourish and expand this beautiful space called the sanctuary with that i leave you today my name is the empress it has been a pleasure to bring this offering to you i wish you a fabulous fabulous fecunditas day until the next time Ashi.